Hey there, boys and girls. Thanks for stopping by. So today's video, a little bit of an older project I worked on. Built a little uh, truck bed storage system. Um, the purpose was to be able to store a bunch of tools in the truck bed, keep it dry, but not have one of those big camper shells, and save a little bit of money on like a tonneau cover. So it was an attempt. Didn't necessarily work out exactly how I wanted, but it was functional for a while. And this is just my adventure of getting it put together. Not going to be as detailed a video because this is something I did three or four years ago now. Just this is one of those ones that's in the uh, in the arsenal of videos I have available. Did not get to much last week because of the uh, weather, so. Alright, boys and girls. I don't know if there's any girls watching, but we'll see. So, the truck bed storage project is in the works. I've just mounted the rails for the drawer system. Got the drawer rails on the first drawer. We're gonna see if she works out alright or not. Or if I did anything like completely ass backwards. Yeah. Sorry, I need a cameraman. I don't have one yet. Why won't you work all the day in and out? Too far apart, or are they too close? See what I'm seeing? A little bow in that board. I bet that's the issue there. Oh, I know it's the issue. Let's see, can you see the mark? How it just starts to disappear back there? I might have to loosen her up, see if I can get her to budge over just a hair. Alright. Alright. Adjusted that little bow just a little bit. Wiggled the whole thing over like a sixteenth of an inch. And she slides right in and out. These are going to be my store bunch of... Probably a tool belt and then a bunch of screws and little, you know, odds and ends. Small get-tos. And then the big ones will be a lot of my power tools and bigger equipment in the center. Anything, you know, that doesn't fit easily in the side ones. I'm going to build uh, basically a whole cover that fits above these. So I'm going to build up these rails around the side to about, I don't know, an inch above. It's going to come all the way back, so there's going to be some overlap here so that hopefully no rainwater gets in, etc., etc. I mean, it's going to get wet. I don't expect it to last forever. I want it to last for like two years. So if it lasts two years, I'm thrilled. But yeah, so build up, and I'm going to put a whole piece of half inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch plywood over top. Cover it with some uh, spray on rubber, like roof seal or whatever. Keep the worst of the water out. I'm going to have some drainage in the front of the truck bed just so it doesn't absorb water all through it. And hopefully it's going to last me two or three years. And number two is fully functional slides, and it's beautiful just like the rest of them. Good to effing go. All right, well, after my saw and uh, cut my sideways, I think I broke all the pieces already. I'll add a picture, but basically my plywood was cutting from there to there on the same sheet that was already square because I put my fence on wrong, so I had to re-square and I lost too much of my board. 
So to make the bottom of the one drawer, I had to cut a bunch of pieces perfectly squared and pocket hole them together. And that seems to be, I got both the bottoms done. Getting ready to start ripping the sides. I got the ends or the fronts, I guess. I'm gonna leave the backs to be the ends for the one drawer. I think I'll make the ends for the other drawer too. I gotta see. But I got the rails for these too. I'm gonna see if I can get this all put together before uh, at least one of them together, at least the drawers. I may not get them mounted tonight, but I may get the, I wanna get the drawers done tonight. So I'm on the clock. I am a failure. So, do you remember my little piece of picture with my measurements? Yeah, I'm gonna make it all fit right. So, we did the half inch for the rail. We did the whole, you know, box size, blah, 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 blah. And then we did minus the distance between blah, 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 blah. But you see where I f***ed up? So I did the walls minus one rail minus one thickness. The drawer is too f wide. It is perfect fit between the barriers, but I can't put the rails in there. I have to cut half inch off of the whole box. So I'm gonna have to take the sides off, trim off a half inch, and I'm pretty sure I gotta do it to this side too. Well, this long process just got longer, but I think I'm about halfway done with it. These are the pieces I had to trim off to get it to fit right. The other end, I, I took most of them through them in the fire pit, but I had to trim. So I took the side off, pulled out the nail, pulled out the screws, and then trimmed it on the table saw to get hopefully the right size. I just put the glue on, I'm gonna staple it down, and then we're gonna see if she fits again. Hello, boys and girls. I think there's girls, let's see. So, one, two, This one's a little sticky, but she works and chooches. This one's a little tight. She does the job. And they all function. Let me see if I have any of the thin pieces I had to trim off. Because I didn't cut it enough the first time. Stop, dogs. So I had to come back and go one framing there we go one sixteenth of an inch off because it wouldn't quite slide in all the way it was like too much side pressure but so i think i'm done with the power tools today except for maybe the top all right here is the finished product physically i got the top put together <clears throat> all the drawers function with it I was able to I had to use two pieces of plywood because it is like five and a half foot deep so I used a four foot wide section on the front and then the back I just cut to cut to match I had overlap there to try and save things from getting wet and it did not work out not necessarily because of the overlap but uh i had some tools in there get wet just because it wasn't a perfect uh perfect seal um i tried the spray on rubber that didn't work out i ended up putting shingles on it that worked a little better it didn't last forever though um it did last longer than the truck though this was the last event i got to take the truck on with some tree trimming and uh, 
threw a rod right through the oil pan, destroyed the engine. Next week's video, that's going to be a fun one though. Um, I'll give you a little preview today, but it's a walk behind mower that I've been working on over the last couple years. I worked on it once when I first got it. It sat for almost two years and I'm working on it again. So working on a walk behind mower, trying to get it ready before the mowing season hits and try to get it sold this year because it doesn't do me any good sitting in the garage. So I'll let you get a little preview of that and what to expect from the next video and a little teaser for a couple things that I want to get done this summer. We'll see how that goes, but I've got some projects lined up. And we're going to see what we can do about knocking them out. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to give me some feedback. Let me know how things are going. Let me know what you like and don't like. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. This is actually what I went and got picked up with the trailer. It is a two-wheel tractor that you can hook a bunch of different implements up to. It's got a little bush trimmer, brush trimmer. It's like a mini bush hog. And it's also got a rototiller that's over here. Yep, just a little rototiller there in the oven right now. But if it works, it works, so... back into the top. I guess I should try to put you guys a little bit more in the center of what I see, huh? 